One of the principles I follow when learning AI is to follow builders, not influencers. There's so much hype around AI, like every day on X, all these influencers are claiming it's over or this tool is insane. A lot of sensational claims trying to grab your attention. But I found that the best insights often come not from influencers, but from builders, people who are actually making AI products as their day job and who post about their process of building AI products on the side. I define these people as builders. So these can be people who work at the model companies like OpenAI and Anthropic, or they could be startup founders working on AI applications or product managers of AI products that I really admire. I define influencers as people whose full-time job is to post content online and make money from doing that. Here are some of the specific builders that I've come to admire and I follow all of their work and their sharings online. The reason I prefer to follow builders is one, they actually have hands-on experience building with AI. They give a lot of actionable advice from their real world experiences. Number two is they're usually more authentic because they don't make a living through making content, whereas for influencers, a lot of them make money through sponsorships, so they will promote a lot of AI products and tools, but you never know if they're promoting it because they genuinely like the tool or because they're just paid to say good things about them. Sometimes I would watch a video by AI influencers and think to myself, mm, do they really use the product or do they just dabble in it because some AI startup pay them to talk about it. The specific thing I do to follow builders is to use YouTube as a search engine for their insights. So for example, one of the product leaders I really admire is Chris Pedrigo, who is the founder of Granola. I would put his name in the YouTube search bar and I would basically watch all of his video podcasts or interviews or speeches that he's done in the past. For example, like this one where he talked about how he decided on what to build and what not to build. Six uh, window lengths. It was too mm -hmm. small. We launched. You can only do like thirty minute meetings, mm -hmm. um, and we could have done a bunch of work to like okay, try to chunk that, or we just we just wait a little bit. The context windows got it just larger. keeps getting bigger. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. This tactical advice is super helpful as I think about building my AI product, and it could only have come from someone who had hands on experience with building. One of my favorite things about Silicon Valley is this open sharing culture where people love talking about how they're building what they're building on platforms like X and YouTube. So one process that I've found to have worked for me is first, I would identify AI products that I really enjoy using and then go and find who built this product, like who is the PM or the founder behind it. And then I would go on X and YouTube, follow their Twitter, watch all of their video podcasts and interviews and conference speeches. And what they say makes so much more sense after I actually use their products. Because when you hear about how they share the behind the scenes thinking behind all these little product decisions, it starts to click for you. And this for me has become the most effective way to learn how to build an AI.